It's so easy to be average. You know it as well as I know it. You just practiced his first day cheering and all that kind of stuff, and I still saw average. The hell with that! We don't want to coach average. I don't want to be around you. Why be around average? Did you push yourself to be great today? Did you do it? If you didn't do it, you lost a day. We ain't got many days to lose. In his 17 seasons as a head coach, Urban Meyer was never average. He never lost a day, and he rarely lost a game. To Meyer, average was a four-letter word. From Bowling Green in 2001 to Utah in 2003, to Florida in 2005, to Ohio State in 2012, there was no question of Meyer's career path. With each move upward, the air became thinner, and the expectations and pressures became thicker. Obviously, there's been a couple speed bumps along the way that we have to get everything back in order. All I think about is the responsibility. He once asked a newspaper beat reporter, are you for us or against us? To Meyer, there was no in-between. And the Ohio State Buckeyes are the first national champions of the playoff era. His coaching record looks like a misprint. Three national championships, an 11-3 bowl record, an average of less than two losses per season. Remember the old pivots we throw and you get it batted down? Sticks right there, so it should be all right. He helped transform Alex Smith from an afterthought into the number one pick of the NFL draft. Tim Tebow won a Heisman on his watch, and that team up north never beat him on his watch. Haskins throws, Hill's got it, he's into the touchdown, and the most points ever scored by Ohio State against Michigan coming today. But Meyer's obsessive work ethic exacted a personal toll. I'm stepping down as a head football coach at the University of Florida to focus on family and my other interests away from the sidelines. The self-imposed exile lasted a single season. He signed a contract with Ohio State and then a contract with his own family. This is a contract that my kids made me sign before I was allowed to sign a real contract. And uh, it's tougher than any other contract I've signed in my life. Meyer tried to change, but he could never quite put a governor switch on his intensity. And then came the events of this season, when a confluence of circumstances eventually resulted in his departure at only age 54. Urban Meyer is suspended through September 2nd, 2018, and for the games on September 1st, 8th, and 15th. The suspensions are tough, but I fully accept them. Some of those circumstances were of his own making. A soft spot, perhaps even a blind spot, for an assistant coach accused of domestic abuse. Some were health-related, and some were the result of a simple realization. It was time. I'm honored to have represented my home state in this great university the past seven seasons. Meyer's legacy is now a work in progress. Will he be judged by those numbers and those championships, or by a stunning resignation and the controversy surrounding it? Will time be his friend or his enemy? These are the questions. The answers have yet to arrive.